Hello, and welcome to my closet. Basically, I just want to get rid of all my shit. In my closet, in the house, the home decor. I just want to do a huge purge and get rid of a lot of it. I have a pile of clothes that I dug out a little while ago to sell or donate and I just haven't done it. And I thought I can add so much to this. This pile is so small and look at my closet and I don't even wear it, any of it, anything in my closet. So I thought it's time to get rid of it. Enough of saying, oh, I'm gonna wear that. I'm gonna wear that in six months. Oh, no. I heard somewhere recently that instead of thinking, oh, will I wear this in six months? Or do I see myself wearing it? Instead of asking yourself that, ask yourself, would I care if this got stolen? Would I care if my friend wore it and never gave it back to me? So that's what I'm gonna use today. I think it's really gonna work. So yeah, we're starting with clothes. This is my closet over here too, I'll show you. Um, but the thing is, is I work from home. I don't even wear these clothes anymore. Sure, I like a lot of them, but I really need to purge. Like, I don't even wear these sweaters. I live in the South now. I haven't worn sweaters for like two years. Why do I have all these sweaters from H&M from six years ago? Ask, like, tell me why, ask me why. I don't have an answer for you. Okay, let's begin. First of all, look at these Converse. They used to be gross and white. I've had them for years and years and I just dyed them to be brown. I mean, they're not perfect, so I don't look at them super close, but like, in my opinion, they look a lot better than they did when they were white. So yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these. Hack, hack. Okay, we're gonna start with sweaters. This is one of those H&M sweaters that I was talking about. In my opinion, it's so cute, but I haven't worn it in probably three years. Should I do a try on haul? This is a no, right? No. I know I'm keeping this. This one, actually, I'm gonna get rid of. It's another sweater that I used to love and used to wear literally all the time, but it's kind of um, scratchy. Can you see all those little like fibers? Can you see those? Yeah, so I think I'm gonna donate it. Bye, bye sweater. Okay, this one is actually really cute, but it's the like shoulder seam kind of ripped open, but I all I need to do is sew it back. Um, I know I'm keeping this. I know I'm keeping this. All right, this I think is a no, right? Yeah, I'll buy something else that I like better. But it's cute though. And I, this is my only black sweater. I'll try it on. Black sweater? Black sweater? No, I'm not even gonna try it on. No, so this one Chris got me, so I'm gonna keep it. This is a cardigan that I got at an estate sale, so gotta keep it. This was like two bucks. And this, I could definitely get rid of. I could, I could get rid of it. But maybe I could like cut it and crop, <gasps> maybe I could cut it and crop it. So right now it's just like a fleece, super oversized, thank you Mari, uh, super oversized fleece. I think I could do something with this. I'll try it on. Do we like this? I mean, it has potential, right? Next up is dresses, and this is gonna be hard because I don't have that many day dresses, and I don't wear dresses a lot, but would I care if my friend stole it? That's what I gotta think. Number one, you know, white with like purpley ruffles and flowers. It's the last time I wore it, I don't know, but I would care if someone took it from me. Am I gonna even wear it in the next year? I don't know. But, okay, this dress was like kinda sexy. I wore it to my bridal luncheon. It's like silky and long, but it never really fit me the way I wanted it to. Yeah, I gotta get rid of it. Damn it. This one is cute, it's like pale pink, and it's tiered, it's midi length, it has this ribbon. It's cute. I'm gonna keep it. We'll have to uh, have to try this one on during the summer. Go to the beach, look tan. 
this dress I actually haven't even worn. I bought it not that long ago and it's not even lined. Like it's really see-through. Oh, but you know what? I've been looking for a beach cover-up. Ooh, good idea, Katie. All right, we're keeping. This one's really cute. You can't tell from this, but it goes up here and it's strappy and it's long. Cute, 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 cute. This one I'm really sad about. It's so my vibe. It's green, which is my favorite color. Has little flowers on it. You, it buttons all the way up so you can button it however much you want. And it's just really cute, but it was a little small when I bought it. I just need to find it in a bigger size. I'll sell it. All right. Okay, also, like, I'm really sorry, mom, if you're watching this. This was a poncho I got, I think, like in college. It's not, you know, 2013 anymore. I wouldn't care if someone took it from me. So, I guess that answers my question. Look at this. This is all winter scarves and mittens and socks. Surely, because I haven't worn them in <laughs> three years, that I can get rid of some of this. I mean, surely. Someone used this to wrap a Christmas present in it. I'm just not like a summer scarf girly. Maybe I'll wrap gifts in it again. Or I'll return the favor, I mean. Okay, hold on. Okay. Eh? What do I think? I mean, it's warm. It's warm. Whose scarf is this? What are we doing with these? <laughs> Thank you. Christmas socks. My black beanie keep. While I have you, I want to show you our garden. So if you've watched my last video, you would have seen that we started a vegetable garden. Chris was building garden beds out of free pallets that we got. We got a few free pallets and we've finished the pallets. We've put in our vegetables. It's been a couple weeks. Things are growing, things are thriving, things are doing okay. And I really want to show you. We've made a lot of improvements. Dun, dun, dun. So yesterday we built this fence out of pallets because Mari likes to jump on the garden beds. And this was all free because these were leftover pallets. So look, we have a little swinging door. And look at our pride and joy. This is what I call the closet from hell. You can't even, I mean, see the extent of it, but it just has so much stuff in it. Look up there. It has packing paper, it has bubble wrap, it has decor, it has a, just a ton of stuff that we didn't want out in the house and that we didn't want to throw away. Like we're gonna be moving in the next year or so and we didn't want to throw away all of our bubble wrap, so. Anyway, but it, there is a box of decor right there that I haven't put up because I either didn't know where to put it or didn't like it. So we're just gonna sort through that box mostly and probably get rid of some things in there. I mean, we can start with these. <laughs> we, we don't have to keep those. Um, all right, hold on. So here's my problem, first of all, is that whenever I move into a new space, I used to just buy the first thing that I needed that I thought was cute. Like let's say I move into a new house and I need a table, I'll be like, oh, that table's cute, I'll just buy it. Instead of taking the time to actually look at things and buy things that I absolutely love and want for a long time. So in recent years, I've been buying with more intention and more purpose as far as like home decor goes. So a lot of this stuff I bought a couple years ago or a few years ago that I bought when I just needed to fill the space. So here we go. First up are these pictures. I mean, they were cute at the time, but they're not really my vibe. So they gotta go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, hello. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. 
Mm. Does anyone else have a pile of books that they've had for years? Like these, I'm just never gonna read. I'm just never gonna read them, so they're going. Oh, I have to keep that. Empty frame, keep. Picture of me and Chris, you wanna see it? This is like the only ball we've ever been to together. Well, at all. Look, cuties, so young. Wedding picture, keep a longhorn, keep. I am Texas gal. Fort Worth Courthouse. <laughs> I don't really need this picture. Oh, this is a pet button where you can um, program something for it to say and then teach your pet to hit the button. Mari needs outside, outside, outside. She wasn't really a fan, but we're gonna keep it. We can try again later. You know what I mean? More pictures. Oh, this is me and my mom. We'll keep them. Um, anyone want some candlestick holders? Here's everything I'm gonna keep. There's pictures under there and random shit. And here's some pictures and books that I don't want anymore. These things, these, um, yeah. There's stuff like that, like there are those vases back there that I'll keep. That's my piggy bank, my One Direction CD. <laughs> um, yeah. And then all of that, just don't look at it. I think that's it for today. I did clothes, I did decor. It took longer than it looked and I'm happy with the progress. I just want to get rid of my stuff. The next time we move, I don't want to have to move things that I don't love. You know what I mean? Anyway, it was pretty mentally taxing if we're being honest. So I think I'm going to go take a nap and enjoy the rest of my Sunday. Maybe another day I'll tackle the TV cabinet or I don't know, the kitchen, something like that. But until then, please like and subscribe to my channel. It would really help me out and I will see you in the next one. Bye.